my channel learn at cloud analytics so in this session we would be talking about what are bookmarks and what is its uh, benefits in using in power bi desktop so bookmarks as we are familiar with using on our day-to-day uh, -day work we know that if we like any um, page on the web browser we try to uh, bookmark that page so that for the next time when we try to uh, look at that particular content we can just go back to the bookmarks pane on the browser and uh, navigate to the same page so that uh, that, resp uh, that corresponding data is not been lost so in the similar way even in power bi desktop we have this feature called bookmarks which would help us to um, uh, bring back to the state which is needed for us to look at so which means that when we create a bookmark uh, it tends to uh, bring the data back to its original state at the moment of creation of a bookmark so let's quickly see and understand how this bookmark can be created and how it benefits the users to interact with the data on the report so for this i have taken this uh, covid 19 uh, report which is the uh, Microsoft uh, freely, ava uh, freely available uh, data set that is available on the web. So now what we'd like to do here is, so there are different visuals that has got different information on that. And uh, there is also a date filter, uh, uh, date filter visual um, slicer being applied on the pane. So now using this uh, date uh, slicer, what I would try to do is I'll, so now it has everything, right? So the data is populated since the beginning of the date. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to filter this data with respect to the uh, 2021 year beginning. So I'll try to uh, navigate through this uh, slicer to ensure that the data has been selected since Jan 1st, 2021. Okay, so from Jan 1st, 2021 till the latest date that is available in the data set. So this is how the state should look like, like um, after we uh, uh, remove this uh, filter navigation, right? So it should come back to this particular state. So for that, I need to create first the bookmarks. So if you see this uh, home ribbon, right? So on this home ribbon, we would need to navigate to the view and uh, select this bookmarks and here i would need to add a bookmark so i'll just uh, rename this bookmark to for better raw uh, readability so i'll say reset dates okay now once we create that bookmark uh, we would need to insert a button so i'll go to this insert uh, tab and go to this buttons and um, I'll add this button called reset. So I'll try to bring this uh, visual here and um, expand it a little bit more. Now I'll expand this format button uh, and uh, enable the text and specify. dates reset okay so you can also change the font um, and maybe i'll uh, expand this a little bit more okay now uh for this particular bookmark to function right so we would need to uh attach the bookmark that we've created earlier to the specific button that we've added on this visual. So how do we do that linking? So as we select this button, uh, there are uh, different uh, formatting options that have been listed. So if we scroll through this options, we see an option called action. So we would need to enable this action and scroll through the list of other options that we can see here. And uh, if you see under the action uh, type, we would need to select the bookmark as the action type and out of the uh, different bookmarks that are already there uh, we would need to select the bookmark that we've just created so i'll select this reset dates and 
once done we would need to save this okay so i've saved this and uh, now let's try to filter the data with uh, different uh, dates so i'll just try to um, bring back this data to the original uh, state like uh, which shows the data for all the dates and the year now if i wanted to go back to the previous state of selection i need to hit on this bookmark so how do we enable this we would need to press and uh, click on control and click so i'll just select control and click and if you see here the uh, state of this dashboard or uh, state of this uh, report has gone through uh, the selection that we've made earlier while we created the bookmark so by doing this this would help us to bring back to the previous state of the report at any given point of time and this is the benefit of using bookmarks